Hi folks, uh, just turn up a bit. Just about goes on, I can get everything in there with the tray because I'm doing two. <clears throat> Look at it the other day. <coughs> two up there. It's, it's painted on yesterday's, one of yesterday's demos. If, I, if, I, if I'm not very happy with them, they're okay as demos, um, I'll, I'll, I'll use them. I'll resurrect them and they will go again. Uh, right, um, I'm still trying to work, work out this uh, uh, abstracting and, uh, and freedom of, uh, of expression, really. Uh, so, I've got uh, some cadmium yellow, uh, some cadmium red, ultramarine, probably won't be using that one. Uh, and some black. Right, so let's get some. Oh, that's a. That's sort of dry. That's my, my vet gel. It's uh, I'll put some more out. It's just a bit. Uh, a bit thick now. I'm just coming on with the uh, acrylics for the time being. I, I would have made some headway with this, these techniques. Uh, but I will be getting back to well, I did a watercolour for Patreon yesterday. If, if, you, uh, if you like my watercolours, there are... Uh, oh, there must be 2,000, at least 2,000 on my channel and probably another three or four hundred on my Patreon channel. Uh, so you, you can watch the whole lot on Patreon for, for about four pounds. Uh, but you probably wouldn't have time to work through them all. Anyway, I've got my board at about 30 degree angle. It, it's not because the paint running down or it's easier. It's just that with the camera of my setup, it's almost the right angles to the camera. So, get some, some of that. Uh, get a bit of. You can use water. Water. I'm not doing this because uh, it's good to. To put a background colour in first, let it sort of dry. I prime the paper with um, some quite stiff uh, I can't remember what I was going to say then. Yeah, it unifies the picture, but I'm going to do what the Danish painter does. Is to, is to just wipe out. I've, I've done all this in, in oil for wiping out, but never tried it with, with acrylic because of the, the, the way the paint dries so quickly. Uh, and it will, to a certain extent, dry into or dry through the, uh, the, the uh, primer because I think it's only one coat. All right, okay, well, we'll do what. Let's have to see where we go with it. I haven't got any pencils or anything. Let's better just try it a bit. Now the paper is a thirty. It's a ninety-pound Saunders Waterford. A lovely, lovely paper for watercolour. But it's uh, going to bounce up a bit. But we won't worry about that. Let's uh, get a bit of a, a bit of bit of back. I, it seems that that's a good way to 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 start with. So we're painting loose and free, and just see where we where we go. 
black. Can you mix a bit of blue with that? They want to make some some marks like this, not necessarily that colour. Oh, I've got, got a little water bottle here. Let's see what happens to that. Uh, right, let's get a nice uh, rich colour. We'll have uh, a bit of red, a bit of ochre. Well, we'll work out what it's going to look like or what it's going to be when we uh, made some advance. So missing a couple of colours here. Look. Let's just pour it. Some red in there, the yellow. Oh, it's getting so dark in here. Let's open that up a bit. Oh, let's get some some greys in, some bit of black, blue, white. I'm not a lover of wiping out, I, I must say, uh, I prefer just to go straight, straight in and, and glaze it as I go, if I want to glaze it. But, uh, right, let's get some lovely red and yellow. I'm flying blind here, Not, uh, nothing in mind. I'm just putting colours in. Uh, let's get some, uh, some whites uh, mixed with the, the, the Payne's Grey and Ultramarine.
we could turn that into a sea picture. Put a bit of a headlight in there. nice light over here so we can reflect that coming through here right let's get some yellow in here now A bit of bit of red in with that. It's colour we want. There's a hole in the uh, paper there. Yeah, let's fill it. I need to do some work on the sky. I'll go back to that. That one seems to be coming along reasonably well. What you don't want is uh, follow shapes. Sort this sky out here. Get, get some uh, Payne's grey, not Payne's grey, some some black. You never know who's going to like these sort of things. I mean, I do. A bit more light in there.
Let's get some more of that blue. I should put the blue next to the uh, to, to the black. Then I wouldn't <laughs> risk hitting other colours. Oh, let's add some good colour down here, a nice bit of green. to the one down here this ah oh, no a bit, bit, bit of black Get away from that one. Uh, right, uh, go do some work in the sky. I'll put some oak around. Anything else out? Uh, yeah, a bit of yellow. A bit of thick, thicker yellow. Because we can use, probably make some room for some impasto on here. On here. I've got a couple of watercolours. They're, they're, they're these size, framed in my hall. If these work out well, I'm going to change them. For these, I'm going to take them out of the watercolours the mounts out of the frame and uh, see what we can come up with there. All right, okay. I, I do like mixing a bit of red with uh, some of this. Oh, got on the wrong painting. Oh, that'll do. Right, let's go back onto this is what I meant to go. But because we're painting free and easy, you know, we're just working away around. But I, I really am enjoying working with these. Because we're not copying anything, we're just working from our, our little brains and just banging on paint. Ooh, no, keep away from that. A 
bit uh, Turner-esque. What I'll do if 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 they do work out okay, I'll show you them. Well, I'll put I'll put photographs of them on Facebook. A bit of a The arcade red certainly comes into its own in these paintings because you can put any colour on and just work until you've got something you like. Oh, I'll get some nice yellow in there, pretty red. Look at these, there's that green back in here.
I think the hardest thing about this sort of uh, painting is a title. Now you can't say that's the, the Welsh mountains, can you? Oh, let's get a little bit of dark stuff in here now. Shake the brush, get the blue, get the black. Ah, another spot there. Uh, let's get a darker green. And because we we primed the paper with the emulsion, it's quite thick. But the the acrylic paint itself acts as a primer, worth remembering. It does help painting on such a small scale. So just, just modifying this here, get rid of some of that dark behind, behind. Look at that grey.
don't need a, a big, a small brush. What you want is a, a good middle of the road brush for a small painting. I'm a great believer in using the largest brush you can get away with. But these are just a little bit small, these paintings. So I'm just adding the colour. Get some red in there, I think. It's an absolutely lovely day. Look at the night clouds going across. It's cold, but it's a beautiful, clear day. And we want to get this a bit black here. So, sort of balance. green back back in there Okay, uh, I quite like that, distinct from that, but uh, well, we never know what we're going to come up with, do we? Once we start these things.
to do that hard, I don't want to do any more. So that, we've had a good go at it. I'm going to take the tape off. Uh, oh, have we got a, see if we've got a, a nice mount. across the bottom to even up the my bit of a uh, well, because my bit of pool here uh, is traditional now it's very sentimental um, I uh, I've been using it for years but it's a bit uh, crooked that's uh, probably no nah, so the other one Ah. Well, no, no, no. What have I done with me? That's probably the thought it was. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, here we are. This is what they just about fit, so we'll put it on there. So that's one abstract. Probably a bit complicated. Probably more. I, I I just kept working over it. So that's one. And there another one. So uh, now the light is shining on the, on some of the bumps, but uh, I'll I'll. Uh, See where we go with those. I quite enjoyed doing those. Uh, right now, now the unveiling. I think uh, black is a very, very lovely colour. The queen of colours. I don't know who said that, but uh, someone, but man, I used the black, the, the impression is used black. Uh, the Queen of Colours. Take this, this one off and then I'll just show you the two of them. This is where we could lose a bit of paper. There we are, two abstracts for a Saturday morning. What's the time? By, uh, just 11 o'clock. Right, I'm now going to uh, uh, photograph them, and, and I'll go and see if I'm going to put them in a, in a uh, the f a frame. So I hope you enjoyed that, a lot, folks. Bye bye. <laughs>